Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So OnePlus has screwed, excuse me, I mean announced their OnePlus 3T and I want to know what you guys think about it. Wow. Now let me just state the obvious here. I was talking to the guys and girls and ladies and gents in the Tech Talk group that I run. Look for a link in that description in this video. Feel free to come over and join us uh, and join us in Talk Tech 24 hours a day. Now let's get to the obvious here, the price. So currently you can buy a OnePlus 3 for $399. OnePlus 3 is one of the hottest phones that have hit in 2016. A powerhouse. If you like to root ROM and customize, or you just want a very powerful phone, the OnePlus 3 is the one to get. I'm not gonna lie. It is a very powerful device. Now, that phone is $399. So it's packing six gigs of RAM, 1080p display, 3,000 milliamp hour battery, uh, 64 gigs on board, uh, 16 megapixel rear camera. There's some things about it, but let me let me share some something here with you. I'll get my cheat sheet. The new uh oh bumpy cam. The new OnePlus 3. While it's not probably considered, it has a Snapdragon 820 in the current OnePlus 3 as well too. So the new OnePlus 3 has a 16 megapixel on the front and a rear samsung sensor too by the way on the front uh and then it has 128 gigs snapdragon 821 upgraded camera sensors and things like that a 3400 milliamp hour battery for 40 dollars more so i think that they pretty much screwed the current one plus three owners here's how the one plus three just came out it didn't it didn't um uh, it didn't get the recognition that it should have gotten because it's a techie's phone. You know, you're just going to be um, rooting and roaming and you know, mess tinkering with the phone. The average consumers don't do that. I got to tell you, they screwed uh, the current OnePlus owners. It's kind of sad uh, that they did such a huge upgrade, and, and that is a big upgrade for forty bucks. My, I'm pulling up the specs now. That's a huge upgrade for $40. Why in the world, for one, did they bring it out so soon? Were they, who are they competing with? Like, I think they completely forgot about the current owners. Because the reason I say that at this recording of this video, I say they forgot about the owners. It is November 15th, 2016. The phone comes out on the 22nd, which is a week away. Um, the reason I say that they screwed current owners is because look how quickly it's coming out. And they're only charging $40 more. And they have the color gunmetal. So it's going to be a darker color. They have a whole new color. And then they have the um, soft gold is still going to be there. The gunmetal is the back of the phone. It's super dark. It looks very sleek, very sexy. Um, I'm telling you, this is a good way to to make some people upset with you as a as an OEM, you just released your uh, current powerhouse device in June. June, it doesn't even seem like it hasn't even been six months. This one is coming out in November on the twenty second. You can buy it. That's a horrible deal. Now I'm not not just making this to hate on OnePlus, but that's kind of messed up. Because right now, as we're recording this video, they haven't up announced any kind of discounted price for the current OnePlus 3 owners. Uh, no, or not current OnePlus 3 owners, but they haven't announced any discounted price on the current OnePlus 3. So current OnePlus 3 owners can't, and they haven't announced any kind of exchange program. They haven't done anything like that. So you pretty much have the same body on the new one, uh, but now you have, opposed to the 820, you have an 821 upgrade and it's clocked at 2.35 it still has the adrenal 530 now you have a 64 or 128 gig so even if you were to go with the 64 gig like let's just the price is 439 so let's just say they add on 30 bucks or 50 bucks for the 128 gig more people are going to buy that and even if they don't well, I was able to manage my OnePlus 3 with 64 gigs with no problem. Still has 6 gigs of RAM, but now, instead of uh, an 8 megapixel on the front, they have a 16 megapixel on the front. A 16 on both. 
Uh, they've upgraded the battery to 3,400 milliamps. And some might say that's a small incremental upgrade, but you get a new color. And believe me, that's important to some people, a new color. You get a new color, you get a bigger battery, and you still have a 1080p display, mind you. So you should be getting killer battery with this phone. You still have the, uh, the dash charging. You get a faster processor, the latest processor at the recording of this video. Uh, upgraded memory option. Wow, um, what a way to do it, OnePlus. And you're bringing it out less than six months from your original. That's not good. It's not fair to current owners who just, like what about the people who just bought, like let's just say somebody bought the OnePlus 3 and they didn't know about the um, OnePlus 3T coming. They probably did, um, but it was a rumor for a while and now it's official. So they are probably gonna exchange. They're probably already doing their return so they can get their exchange game going on. They probably are. I will be. Oh, oh, oh. Got a phone call. I don't know who this is. Nope, don't wanna talk. But listen, this is a way to really mess over uh, a, a consumer. Bringing out such a, a giving it, not charging a lot more. I mean, that's a great thing, but not charging that much more for the phone and then you're getting all those upgrades. Whoa, that's kind of jacked up. It's kind of jacked up. So what do you guys think about the new OnePlus 3T? I, I think it's gonna be great. Uh, the gunmetal color is nice, it's a lot darker. They still have the soft gold one as well, but the gunmetal compared to the graphite is a lot darker and so it looks really sleek. And I think that's gonna probably be a very popular one uh, amongst buyers that are gonna decide to buy it. So are you guys purchasing the new OnePlus 3T that comes out next week that was on the 22nd, that's newly announced right now on um, the 15th? What do you guys think about, I thought the announcement was, the the uh, the um, the uh, the way they presented it was lame, just all these people. Now I know they were trying to get like a customer experience, but what they do is they just picked people from the community and gave them a phone and tell them to use it for the last month. Uh, yeah, that presentation was horrible. It's like they just said, well we're not gonna spend a lot of money on something, we're just gonna take the cheapest route and stream it on Facebook. <laughs> so uh, that's what they did, I thought it was pretty lame. Uh, but nonetheless, the phone and the price, guys, wow. $439 for that device. Mm. And now they're not saying that, the, they're just saying a 128 gig is available, but they're not saying if there's going to be an increase in price. Because there is two options, a 64 and 128. So I'm thinking probably, now I don't know for sure because I didn't hear anything in that announcement, but I think there's going to be like 50 bucks more for the 128 uh, option unless they uh, the G oh, I was going on GSM Arena I don't see anything about a 64 gig option on the OnePlus site yet but it might be but as of right now as far as I'm reading it's 128 gig for uh, 439 6 gigs of RAM 16 on the front and the rear 3400 milliamp hour battery Snapdragon 821 on deck 2.35 clock so that's just a killer price of 440 if that's all coming with that 128 gigs. Even if it was not coming with 128 gigs, if it was 64 gigs, that's still a good purchase. You're getting 60 gigs of RAM, and you're getting the, right now the OnePlus 3 is probably one of the fastest, most powerful phones on the market. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think they screwed over uh, their, their OEMs, uh, or excuse me, their customers? I was doing some benchmark tests that I'm getting ready to post, and look at the LePro 3. If you're into benchmarks, this is scoring like OnePlus stuff. So uh, the LePro 3 has a Snapdragon 821 with four gigs of RAM. It's pretty good, man. Um, yeah, those are some pretty good scores. Beating out my little pixel. But, um, you know, they're screwing customers. <laughs> That's what they're doing, man. Um, they're screwing customers. Here's some rankings here. My phone scored a little bit lower than what it should show, but you know, you get a should score, but you gotta, you know, it's probably a little run a little warm or whatever, but you can see where the OnePlus 3 is down there. And some people say, well, I get more than that on my OnePlus 3. I did too. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, um, 
That's pretty good. So what do you guys think, man? Do you guys think that they're kind of screwing over the um, current consumers who buy who are buying um, the OnePlus 3 devices? Uh, wow, I'm, I'm pretty shocked that they even are bringing it out within six months. And they're actually bringing out a really, I'm gonna go ahead, I don't normally use that term like future-proof, but that seems like a future-proof device. It's factory unlocked. And North American bands, it appears to have Verizon bands on there. I was in my, my group chat and uh, it, it appears to have Verizon bands. Now, I don't know. I can test it out though. So Shaman J. Will, um, I've been rocking my lip pros. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, stay tuned for more. Please comment and let me know what you think about the process, how they are bringing out the device so quickly uh, within six months. Do you think it's a bad idea? That, and do you think they're really screwing over current consumers of the OnePlus 3 that have bought it at launch? Um, you know, what do you think? So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Shaman J. Will, comment down below. Peace.